and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ors of Doom in Best of One. Um, this is a another list from one of the uh, viewers in chat that uh, recommended for Best of One Day Monday. That's what we got going on today. We're going to be playing seven games in Mythic Ranked with each of these Best of One decks. This is our third of the six. Yeah, this deck's all about just grinding the opponent out, you know, using um, Treacherous Blessing to draw a lot of cards. You know, this is a, a draw three. And then trying to get rid of Treacherous Blessing with our own Doom Foretold. You can get rid of it with a Cavalier of Dawn. You can use either of those. Um, but yeah, hopefully, like, we play Treacherous Blessing, We that digs us far enough to be able to find Doom Foretold. We get to play Doom Foretold, sack the Treacherous Blessing, and so on. Um, Elspeth Conquers Death is amazing. Obviously, Kaya's Wrath is very good. Um, Oath of Kaya is great and best of one. I, I think we got a lot of good stuff here. I do like Agonizing Remorse. I think that's a good good choice here for this deck. Uh, I'm not a, I'm kind of lower on Birth of Miletus than a lot of people. Uh, it's like it's fine, I guess, but it's not it's not spectacular in my opinion. But I, I don't love four Birth of Miletus, four planes. We'll see if that ever gets us. Um, but also, Birth of Miletus isn't something that you, that you don't always get to sacrifice to Doom Foretold because, you know, it goes away. <clears throat> we need as much life gain as we can have, though, with these Treacherous Blessings. So maybe it's just something that we need with, with the Treacherous Blessings. We'll see. All right, so let's, let's uh, play some games. I think we should be pretty good against Aggro. Yeah, it's Splash Green for Rampage of the Clans. I mean, you could play that and, uh, I guess, Vraska if you Splash Green. All right, so where is our... Where's our Orzhov deck? Oh, it's just the first one. <laughs> there we go. Orzhov Doom. So far, we've been 500. Yeah, I think this, is, this list will probably do pretty good. All right, we got Doom for Told. Best card in the deck. We don't really need a fifth land right now, because remember, Miletus is the fourth land. Kind of look... Dig towards the Kai's Wrath. Yeah, we already got half the planes in the deck. Um, see, like, we can't even play Doom Foretold after Birth of Miletus. Like, Birth of, you know, like, we have to sacrifice Birth of Miletus. We won't even have anything to sacrifice to Doom Foretold. Blew it up. I just, you know, basically we get to, like, we're killing, like, the fairy guide mother and half of that. Okay, so we're going to Oath of Kaya, the Healer's Hawk, and let them sack an Isle Seed. Guess that's the plan. They did not sack an Isle Seed. Interesting.
Thanks, McCarty. Sure, we could Kaiserath right now, but we don't need to. Like my opponent's doing two damage. damage. Ah, a Johnny ult. Yeah, that could be a thing. So exile creatures and artifacts. That could be a thing. If they have Heliod, we have the Elspeth Conqueror's Death for it. We can wait for Heliod. All right, well, now we can Kaya's Wrath and... <clears throat> and then whenever I play Doom Foretold... And get our murderous rider back. Yeah, the murderous rider did put in a lot of work. I guess I could have just else put con conquered death and just got rid of the tribunal that way too. So I decided not to play the new Oath of Kaya so that we can sacrifice the, f the first one to Doom Foretold first. So we get some good value with it first. And this, this game should just be over anyway. Even though they're at 39. <laughs> yep, even with four four planes and four Melitas, still got there. Uh, 
I like this opener. Probably be leading with remorse on two, but you know, we'll see. No, I, I think the deck needs to cast Lauren Veils. I, I, if one of fifth planes, I think it'd be over a Fable Passage. Rude. I would never do that. Play Agonizing Remorse. We already got three of our planes out of our deck. Well, you know. number four. Well, it's planes number three, so the, this Miletus will get the last one, and then the other Miletus will just be dead. What is this? Ow. Good thing Doom Foretold's great. We can clean that up. Discarded Cavalier of Night. They were missing land drops. <clears throat> I scratched on the bottom before, right? Yeah. It's not like the best minus, but we do get to draw two cards. If I were you, I'd just surrender. All right, we're two now. Doom foretold. Oh, I want us that game. Hey, Escurio. <laughs> yeah. Lilia said you should just surrender right now, and that is exactly what they did. If only this was Thought Erasure with the Surveil to help us hit our land drops. Ooh, a good matchup. Number 828 versus 815. Matchup.
Okay. <clears throat> oh man. I mean, do I just go for Kai's Wrath? Yeah, I think so. Hooray! Boo! Yay! That could be nice, Matthew. Oh, GG. Instant speed better than sorcerer speed. Casting all your spells better than uh, losing the game with five cards in hand. All right, we're holding on to that top thousand spot. I really don't need to be, like, I really should be doing that at their end step, but. The Charming Prince. Probably not Boltswagon. Um. So Ryder can kill Spawn. Let's just get rid of the Oketra. I don't know if there's any reason to wait. Castle Art. No, I didn't. I don't need this this land. I should put that down to the bottom. Oh well. Guess we'll take it. <clears throat> Have to get swamp so I don't run out of planes. Yeah, I like Hushbringer a lot these days. I think I think Hushbringer is a good card. I can 
get rid of it? Was that dear to you? I'll be back. Just you wait. So yeah, Enforcer is just going to get Legions ended. But I didn't really play it before. But thankfully the Hushbringer put the Murderous Rider in my graveyard, so now that Elspeth Conquers Death will get back Murderous Rider, so that's pretty nice. Croxa was really good. Yeah, I thought Croxa was, Croxa was really good. Risky playing you better watch this treacherous blessing. I don't know, maybe not. Probably is, though. Does he have Death Touch? No. Vigilance Menace Lifelink. Try that again. I dare you. Basically seeing if they would double spell, or double block. Business to attend to anyway. <clears throat> now, the next Treacherous Blessing is probably not a card I should be playing. No pain, no gain. Go, Murderous Rider, go! Seraph of the Scales Hushbringer combo. Need more cards. Down to six. I 
Hey, Marias. I was planning on killing the Seraph. Yeah, it's still a 4-6. We good. Seraph. They could have had, you know, double blocked there and had one token kill my life linker but decided not to treacherous blessing makes you live on the edge but thankfully the, the life gain from this murderous riders really got us there and we're three and one ggs that was a good game Oh, was a good game. <laughs> yeah, the four plane special. Don't need a fifth. We've gotten like all four of the uh, planes like every game. That seemed like at least. On a red? More like mono dead. Um yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what to put in the sideboard, but probably probably just your normal black-white stuff, you know, like your uh, Noxious Grasp uh, being a big one. You know, noxious Grasp, then probably another Wrath. Uh, you can go Devout Decree. I just saw that two Ember Cleave. That's a lot of ember cleave. Block. This is probably a matchup I need to be a little careful with the treacherous blessing. I don't really want to draw more lands. I also don't really want to Kaya's Wrath right now. So I think I'm just playing nothing. Now we'll Kaya's Wrath. Love it. Let the wall soak up the damage.
like a fun new toy. Cool. Draw a card. I feel pretty good about this one. Uh, this song is it's Lincoln Park. Um, waiting for the end. Four and one. Thanks, you, thank you, Ham. Glad to be back. Just ran two miles, boot. That's awesome. Congratulations. Good job. I will keep it. So I'll go Castle, then Swamp Miletus, which means I'm not going to be able to play Rider on three if I do that. I could, you know, Fable Passage and, and then wait... Oh, nice. You quit, quit smoking, too? Awesome. Dude, good news. Yeah, keep it up. Well, this hand's really good at killing stuff, but if my opponent's playing a control deck, that's not going to be good for us. Looks like blue white control. Where we will have our castle Arden Vale. Try to get a bunch of work done. They're going to discard. Not really reason to play the agonizing remorse yet. Whenever they're just moving to discard. Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, you're late. Go to discard. Yeah. Okay, shatter, banishing light, Elspeth, shatter, shatter, absorb, deploy.
We don't want to take the Elspeth Conqueror's death. I think I want to take Elspeth Conqueror's death. Hmm. Yeah. We'll just make him discard one of these shatters and draw a card. Wow. Discard deposed a boy. Okay. Uh, what was the last song? Uh, Closer by Lee. I don't know. L Lemaitre. Lemaitre. L E M A I T R E. Strong breath, Miletus. <laughs> hey, Lifer, thanks for the tier one sub. 14 awesome months. That's our 10th sub of the day. Hit that first sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. Five and one. Millennium God. Getting that sub keeping going for 10 months, being sub number 11. Well, I guess they're going to take all those rats home with them. They're never going to cast them. Take them all home. Oh, they never had a second white. They couldn't cast it. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't discard one of the, the third wrath. They discarded deploy instead. Deploy was definitely like it really seemed like a more valuable card. that we're going to be playing later. How much later? Two decks for now. Hopefully we don't draw all of our Birth of Miletuses this time. I'm getting a couple of planes.
I had to say it. I had to say it. Seriously? Yeah, there's 24 lands in this deck, and this deck would normally want, like, 26, probably. And so, the Birth of Lita's helps out with that. Yeah, so you can have a couple less lands. Wow. That was just the best possible thing for me. Wow, that was the best possible thing that could ever happen. I don't know why they sacked Witch's Oven. That's like the only card they, they shouldn't sack. <laughs> Nope, there's no reason to do that. I guess that's their reason to do it. They wanted to hunt a high tower in play. That was just, like, scripted as what's the best possible thing that could happen for me. That was it. Just all the way around. Reaper. Can the Reaper conquer death? Oh no, it can. Hmm. Well, it was going to be doing Elspeth conquers death to exile Reaper, but now I guess I'm going to go Birth of Miletus into Doom Foretold. Second, the Midnight Reaper. <laughs> oh, those are a couple of good draws for them. All right, we're going to need something. Something good. I 
That is not something good. Ten of our ten of our twenty four lands already. A treacherous blessing wouldn't be bad. Gets, keep, get, keeps getting better for us. We got rid of another witch's oven. Uh, no, Escurio, I don't know. I'm not sure, like, the specific Esper control list that's popular right now. Um, but I'm, I'm sure it's probably pretty decent. I mean, there's... Esper has lots and lots of good cards. So, it's, you know, if it can if it can handle Simic, it's going to be pretty decent. Well, if I would have sacrificed Dupe for Told instead of Elspeth Conquers Death, then I'd have this Elspeth that I could bring back, but it's okay. <laughs> Just keep on drawing Witch's Ovens. There's n yeah, scary. I mean, that deck looks pretty good. Do we? I mean, I love this. I love this attack. Yeah, I love that attack. Have another witch's oven. Where'd the other one come from? Death is in light. Waste not, want not. So after this slow process ends. Oh, okay. Well, 
We'll get rid of one cauldron familiar. Rise and shine. Yeah, Liliana is definitely our is our hope. Is this five, four. Oh, so they can bring they can bring Woe Strider back. No, they have four in the graveyard. Not uh, that's all the egg. I was thinking the exile. <clears throat> Now bring back Woe Strider and exile the familiar. Do it. Ugh. I mean, this is kind of dangerous with Cauldron Familiar. Of course, we don't we don't have to play anything. Well, I wish I did not play my land yet. Could have had Castle Ardenville. Good help is easy to find in war. I think I'll have a, two creatures back on D just in case. You could say it's unlucky that my opponent drew all four Cauldron Familiar, or sorry, all four Witches Ovens, but we had no business getting rid of the first two wiz Witches Ovens. It's kind of like they still have those two. I can Kaya's Wrath and gain life, wrathing up my own creatures. Like, I don't know, does Liliana Ultimate even beat? One oven and one cauldron familiar. Maybe not. Probably need to tick up Liliana again. What? Is this thing a vampire? Why is that card in their deck? Oh, they have that vampire. Well, Lilia Liliana's minus nine. We haven't untapped with Liliana at minus nine. But I don't even know if I'm supposed to ultimate Liliana this turn. I mean, I guess I am because I have this Elspeth Conqueror's death. if we're really ahead here.
So the plan, of course, is to have Elspeth conquer his death, bring back Liliana in two turns. Glad they didn't have, like, a Mayhem Devil in play, and then we ultimate. I'm also really glad we have this Castle Arndale. damage. Play the enforcer. I don't think it's worth the the point of damage it takes to play the enforcer. Yay. Life gain. Your corpse will make an excellent minion. All right, never mind. I feel pretty good about it now. Slow process. Oh yeah, I love Othakaya. to six. <laughs> yeah, deck did well. Um, you know, six and one. Can't can't complain too much about Birth of Miletus because it, it did a lot of good stuff for us. Toy. This Castle Ardenvale was pretty big too. All right, got there. All right, so six and one with Orzov Doom. We even. Beat the two control decks that we played against, right? We, so we lost the Simic Flash. Beat two control and four aggro. Yeah, it went it went uh, pretty well. Or Agonizing Remorse was awesome. Um, Treacherous Blessing actually was pretty good. You know, just drawing those, like, draw three is pretty big time. Liliana was amazing. Um, Enforcer didn't look like it was anything special. Probably one of our weaker cards of the deck with the Enforcer. Um, but, yeah, it went pretty well. Yep. 
<clears throat> All right, so that's Orzhov Doom. Good run there in Mythic. Um, as far as like maybe replacing Orzhov Enforcer, I could see playing the fourth Kaya's Wrath. Like this, yeah, I could definitely see just playing four Kaya's Wraths and then like one, um, one like Golden Egg, if you want, or or just you know an Orzhov Enforcer. Um, but I could definitely see playing the fourth Kaya's Wrath for best of one. That's always an important card to have access to. I mean, if. Enforcer is just a two drop that you know basically always trades up because it has death touch, and then it's also just a good creature to sacrifice the doom foretold. That's what it does. It's it's not like a bad card, but it's, it's nothing special. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Uh, we're halfway done here. We're gonna move on to our next deck. Gonna be some Soul Tie Your Rock. All right, so thank you so much for watching some Morzov Doom, and I'll see you for the next video.